Andy Johnson, author of the book, 10 Instructional Elements. We are looking at using writing for reading instruction and interventions. Now remember, the brain uses three cueing systems to predict what the next wa might be. Your brain automatically filled in the blanks just now and you knew that is word or was word. We use the information in our head to figure out what the words might be. There's 10 times more information flowing from the cortex down than from the thalamus up during the process of reading. Input data or the text comes to the thalamus and you see the three queuing systems and we have 10 times more information flowing down. This is a transactive model or neurocognitive model of reading. The three cueing systems are the semantic cueing system. We use meaning or context. The monkey ate a ba, brain fills in the blanks. Syntactic or syntax, grammar word order to figure out what the next word might be. And the phonological, putting letters to sounds. This takes up a lot of space in working memory. It's the least efficient. Does that mean we should not teach phonics? No, it is one of three. We need to develop all three cueing systems. Remember, we don't teach reading as much as we create the ability, uh, help students develop the ability to create meaning with print. When we read, our eyes do not move in a straight line across the page. They make skips from word to word called saccades. Our brain fills in the blanks. We can actually only perceive those words that we stop on. Now, writing is the most effective way to develop the syntactic cueing system, grammar in word order. Again, we do not teach reading as much as we develop students' ability to create meaning with print. Reading is not sounding out words. It is creating meaning. Our brain creates meaning as we are reading. Writing, most effective way, but it can also be used to reinforce letter sound patterns. We are going to look at a couple of writing activities, and these are going to focus on reinforcing the short E sounds. Now, this should be part of reading instruction or an intervention or an activity. Each one should take two to eight minutes in duration. Remember, the best way to help students uh, develop uh, their comprehension, fluency, word identification is reading volume, reading practice. We want them to be reading uh, text that they select at the independent level or below to the greatest extent possible. So this is only part of reading instruction or reading practice or reading class. The goal is to develop the syntactic cueing system. The first activity, simple, it's called priming pictures. Students are showing a picture or image and you ask, what's going on here? Describe what's happening. What do you want to say about the picture? Orally first and then they write. Example, simple picture you might show. What's going on? What do you want to say? One sentence is okay. Now, I would recommend, that was a cartoon, that you take pictures of students on the playground or doing things or things in the community for them to describe, things that relate to them. Template writing. Students are given one to three template sentences, and they write the complete sentence in a journal or on their own computers, whatever you are using. When I get older, I will. Today I will spend more time, template sentence. Now notice, there's a short E in each of these sentences. I am reinforcing, helping to develop the ability to recognize short E words. Now the following ones, these can be done orally or in writing or both, orally first and then in writing. The goal is to develop that syntactic cueing system. Three sentences, this is called syntax sentences, presented to students. They contain grammar or word order errors, and students are called on to make appropriate cor corrections. This is very much like daily oral language, if you remember that. And notice these sentences are designed, once again, to reinforce letter patterns or vowel sounds. Notice the short E words. 
Helen was tell Jen to, something's wrong with that sentence. Who can help me out? And again, they can come up and make the corrections on a board or on a screen, or they can write them in a journal or on a sheet of paper. Sentence combining. <clears throat> Students given two sentences must combine them while retaining the initial meaning of both. Again, notice I'm using short E words. I'm reinforcing the short E sound. Sentence alteration. Given a sentence, asked to say the same thing using different words or different word order. A single sentence, all right? Two to eight minutes. How many different ways can you say, can you lend me a pencil? Can you give me a pencil? Give me that pencil. Please give me that pencil. And again, notice the short E words. Sentence elaboration. Students given a sentence, asked to make it more interesting or different or better. And here you celebrate creative, humorous ideas. They can add or change nouns, verbs, adjectives. They can do what they want to them. Yes, it's okay to be silly. The clown crept past the bed. The big clown crept past the bed. The elephant crept past his bed. The elephant crept past his tent. You get the idea. And again, notice the short E words. Change it up. Make it as silly or crazy as you want to. Just some simple ideas for using writing with reading instruction or an intervention. These should be two to no more than eight minutes in duration, part of a total reading class or reading practice.